Alright guys, so I was recently gifted a 25 quart bison cooler by my wife for my birthday. And uh, they claim that they'll do five to seven days worth of ice. There's a few things you have to do. You have to pre-cool the cooler. You have to pre-chill the items that are going to go in the cooler. And by pre-cool the cooler, they either recommend you put it in a deep freeze and let the cooler freeze <clears throat> internally. So it doesn't freeze, but it actually cools it down to a better temperature so it doesn't uh, kill the ice by trying to absorb the heat. Right now I've got my pre-chill bag in. As you can tell, I've got a 10 pound bag of ice just sitting in there. I'm going to let it sit for about an hour. My items have already been cooled down to about 43 degrees. I'm putting in a few energy drinks. And I've got a 20 pound bag of ice to see how much bag, how much ice this thing will take with about 10 sports drinks in it, you know, 10 energy drinks. So right now, just wanted to show you guys. I'm gonna do this over the next five to six days. Hopefully it's seven, maybe it's four, we don't know yet. I'll see, be able to tell you whether or not this thing is worth the price and if they do actually what they say they'll do. It was a, a pricey cooler. This thing shipped to my house, cost $250 for a 25 quart cooler. I got it in the sand color, as you can tell, it's not the white. And I was pretty excited to get it, so can't wait to see how long that ice will truly last and if, if the claims that these coolers companies are making, if they're true. So I'm doing everything that they recommend you do to be able to get that four to five days of ice retention. So, you know, even up to seven, I've heard some people claim that these things will do seven. So I'll be back day by day by day showing how far drop the ices come and how much water we build up have. I'm not going to be opening it a ton. I'm going to be leaving it closed for the majority of the day and checking on it. And when I do my checkups, I'll be using a, a little thermometer gun to be able to tell. So as you can tell right now, the outside of the cooler is 80 degrees. <laughs> inside of the cooler yep inside of the cooler is 42 and a half degrees all right guys it's 1203 September 21st okay I've got my sacrificial bag of ice inside of the cooler I'm gonna pull it out check the inside temperature of the cooler the drinks have been pre-cooled and I have my bag of 20 pound ice ready on the side to see how much it'll take okay so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys me putting everything in. I'm going to do a quick couple temperature tests and show it to you guys. Here's my sacrificial bag of ice. Put it in for about an hour. I got some frozen ice at the bottom of the cooler. I'd like to see if you guys can see that. You can't really see, but the ice is actually frozen down there. The water is. Okay. Temperature of the inside of the cooler is 25 degrees. The drinks I'm putting in it are going to be 44 degrees. Got to have a good knife. It's now 12.06. Took me three minutes to fill it up. Next time I'm going to be checking it is tomorrow around the same time. Hopefully, if I, depending on work, maybe a little bit after. But I'm sealing it up for the day. We'll be back to check on it tomorrow. I'll show you the time and the date. And we'll see how long the ice really does last. Okay, here's the first time I've checked it. As you can see the time, September 22nd, okay, it's been over 24 hours. Let's check the outside temperature. Outside temperature of the cooler, 95 degrees. We're going to go ahead and open it up and see what it looks like on the inside. It's only been in there for past 24 hours. So, it looks like we got a giant 
block of ice. It's basically... It's frozen itself, I want to say. Let's check the lid temperature. Lid temperature seems to be 45 degrees. I'm going to check the wall temperature. Wall temperature is 37 degrees, so just above freezing. But the whole thing is frozen itself in there. The ice is pretty hard. I'm going to go ahead and close it, and I'll check it in a day. Okay. September 23rd. 550. Past 48 hours. Let's check the top temperature of the cooler. 95 degrees, just like yesterday. So it's staying nice and warm inside here. I'm going to go ahead and open it up live for you guys to see. Ice has dropped quite a bit, as you can tell. Let's move down. Looks like I, I can see some visible water, but it's still mostly ice. Side temperature at the top of the cooler. 45 degrees. Inside temperature, 33 degrees. I'll be back tomorrow to do the exact same thing. Okay. September 24th, 5.52. Okay. Top of the Let's go ahead and open up the cooler and see what it looks like from the inside. Okay, still majority ice. The water level has come up. Top of the cooler temperature is 44 degrees. Side of the wall is 32 and a half degrees. Now you can see all of the stuff before you couldn't see anything. Now we got ice and water, a mixture of both. There's still a pretty hard block right here in the center of ice when I push it down. Other than that, it looks pretty good. Due to my scheduling yesterday, I could not get a recording. That was the 25th, September 25th. I could not get a recording of how much ice and get a level. Today is the 26th. It's now 12.29. September 26th. I'm going to go ahead and open it up in front of you guys and let you guys see. Let's see what, what we have going on in here, all right? Okay. So, unfortunately, it looks like we ran out of ice. There's no more ice. I can touch it. It is still very, very, very cold. I'm going to say probably in the high 30s low 40s i don't have my gun i can run upstairs and get it but it doesn't make a difference because there's no more ice the drinks are still very cold i mean i'm telling you everything in here is still so cold to the point where you couldn't keep your hand in here for more than 30 seconds without your hand starting to freeze so it looks like five days is what it'll hold you know, anything past, anything before four or five days, it's not going to hold any more ice. Uh, it was hot yesterday, very, very hot. And I've been keeping it in the garage where it's staying hotter than in, if I were to keep it in the house or in the shade. The garage gets real hot and stays hot. So, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys later.